Hey guys, Sarah again. I want to talk just about parties. Let's talk parties, okay? Parties, parties, parties. Parties are the key. They are they are the light, okay? And I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, I hate my parties. Don't think that. Parties are fun. At least they should be. If you're doing them right, they need to be fun, okay? Let me move my computer a little bit closer. Okay, so stop walking into parties with a negative attitude. Don't do that. It's not good for you. It's not good for your business. It's not good for your parties, okay? I'm going to tell you how to make them fun. Ready? Are you ready? It's really exciting. Here we go. Okay, so I am going to reference my notebook because I do not want to forget anything, but I don't want to sit here for an hour to tell you all about parties either. So, first off, if you have not watched my hostess coaching video, turn this off go watch it and then come back and then you can watch this one okay go watch my hostess video it's very important it's so important to watch a hostess video okay you need to coach your hostess it's crucial absolutely crucial that you are coaching your hostess she doesn't know what she's supposed to do how can you expect her to do it that's your job okay next step if your hostess is doing her job the way that you have instructed her to do it and helped teach her, okay? Don't be a boss, don't be bossy, that's not nice. Then she's gonna know that she's gotta private message people, she's, got, she's gonna know that um, she's gotta be really active in the group, that she's gotta be energetic, that she's gotta post pictures. Um, what you also need to let her know is that you're gonna make a post on her personal Facebook wall the day that the party starts. Post on her wall. Do it. Post on her wall. Really good before and after picture, right? Or like a comparison picture or something like that. Really, really, really great picture of the mascara or foundation or whatever, right? Whatever your favorite product is. Make sure to post a really good picture. If you aren't sure how to take good selfies, um, look at YouTube and look for selfie school, right? Watch some videos. Teach yourself how to make how to take good selfies, right? Natural light's always the best. Okay, and then there's a trick. Hold your phone upside down. If you hold your phone upside down, it makes your lashes look longer. It's pretty cool. Um, that was a sneak peek tip for you. Okay, so 40 to 60 people in your parties. 50 is kind of the sweet spot. I like to tell my hostesses 30 to 50, and they almost always end up inviting a few more because um, they figure out real quick how easy it is to copy and paste the message. So um, typically, like 50 is kind of the sweet spot for people in your party, okay? I do my parties in groups, but this will work even for events. So events or groups, either one, the the way to do a party is pretty similar, okay? So make sure that you're posting on your hostess's wall one time the day that the party starts or maybe even the day before the party starts, whatever works better for you. Um, you're going to tag her in the post. You can make a picture. Tag her in it. It's important that you tag her in the post, not just post it on her wall. Then you need to make sure that she comments on that post and she she can post her own pictures she can ask questions that post needs to be showing up in people's news feeds okay and the way to do that is by boosting the algorithm and the way to do that is by making sure that that post gets a lot of exposure so she needs to comment and then you comment back you guys need to talk about the party on that post on her wall that she's tagged in this is huge huge okay do this the day before or the day of the party okay Okay, um, she cannot mass add people to groups. Do not mass add people to groups. Don't invite 300 people into a closed group and then try to sell mascara to them. That It's against Facebook's TOS. Don't do it, okay? That's all I'm going to say about that. Don't do it. It's bad. It's spammy. It's not nice. Just, ugh, don't do it. I'm going to leave a group. If I am added to a group, Without my consent, nobody sends me a message, and then someone tries to sell to me, I'm going to leave that group, and I'm going to get irritated. So don't do that. Okay. Um, ba, 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 ba. Make sure that the link is clearly accessible in the description. I make my own cover photos for um, my parties. It has the link in them, but inevitably people always don't see it, even though it's like 
right there on the cover photo. So make sure that in the group description or the event, you know, info box, that the link is clearly visible, the shopping link to the party. Okay, make sure that it's the party link. If you have a GoDaddy domain, um, check out subdomain forwarding because then you can make a really pretty party link. Um, like my links are like uh, katie.lovelyladylong.com. That's a party link. Okay, so look into that. There's videos on that. Um, okay, so make sure that your description is welcoming. It's not salesy. It's not spammy. If you have not watched Sherry Brown's video, The Art of Non-Selling, watch that video next after this. Make sure that you know the difference between sharing the love of a product and selling a product. It's very different. Okay, and this is going to be crucial for your parties. Do not be spammy or salesy. Personally, I never even post the price of products in my parties. I just don't. Some people do. I don't. I don't think that it's necessary. I think that if people are interested in the products, they're not going to care about the price. Um, even for people who say, I can't afford it. A lot of times they say, I can't afford it because you're leading with the price, okay, or you're including the price. Talk about why the product is great and people will decide that they need it and they won't care about the price. Women do not care about the price if they think that they need a product. Trust me. Trust me. Why do you think name brands make money? It's because they have a product that people want. Okay, so your job is to make the product something that they want. Um, and the best way to do that is just sharing the love, sharing why the products are great. We have amazing products at a very reasonable price point. So make sure to just share your love of the products. We have amazing products. Okay, so be fun in your parties. Be exciting. You set the tone. Keep this in mind. You set the tone for your parties. You, the presenter, you set the tone. More than anything else, more than mascara, more than foundation, more than primer, more than anything, you are selling the experience of the party, okay? You're not selling mascara. You're selling the party, okay? Because you want people to book parties off of that party. Every party aim for for booking three more parties off of that one. And that's how to get outside of your circle very quickly. But you're only gonna do that if your parties are fun and engaging and informative. Every single post should not be about makeup. What? What do you mean, Sarah? What do you, what do you mean every post shouldn't be about makeup? I mean not every post should be about makeup. I mean you gotta connect with your customers. People wanna be entertained. I'm not just gonna buy something because somebody tells me I should. Nope, you gotta work harder. You just do. So be engaging and be super duper fun. Have fun with it. Fake it till you make it, right? If you're having a bad day and you want to lay in bed, just type some exclamation points and throw some emojis on there and call it a day. Like, you know, short little blurb, short and sweet. Oh my God, these lashes are amazing. Look at that. And then do the little emoji with like the heart eyes. Hello. They don't need to know on the other end of that that you're like sick and laying in bed. It's okay. It's okay. Fake it till you make it, right? I can't tell you how many days I have not been in the mood to post in a party, but it's so easy to post in a party that all it takes two seconds. Pick up your phone. Emoji, 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 emoji. emoji. Oh, that's a good picture. I'm going to do that one. Okay. All right. So before and after foundation. Holy cow. Look at how amazing this coverage is. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, good. Oh, phone down. I'm going back to bed. Okay. It's very easy. It's very easy. Online parties are so easy, okay? So make sure to connect with your customers. Make sure to connect with your party guests. I like to do a roll call post in my parties. Um, that way people kind of get to commenting. I also give raffle tickets for people who post selfies. Did you guys know that you control your parties? Did you know that if you need new games, you can make new games? Did you know that you don't have to use somebody else's raffle or party points game, you can make your own. So I made my own. I give party guests five raffle tickets just for posting a selfie. Yep, because then I can see they're gonna post a selfie and I'm gonna know, one, what colors will look best on them for foundation, for BB cream, for eyeshadow, for all of those things. I'm gonna know what colors look good. I'm going to know um, what their typical day looks like. So if they're a stay-at-home mom, maybe they're not wearing makeup. So maybe they just need a primer and a BB cream. Maybe they don't need mascara. Maybe they do need mascara. 
Maybe I can convince them that they need it all. Hmm. Let me think about that. If they are somebody who works full time and wears makeup every single day, hmm, maybe they need a collection. Try all the products, fool them around, right? So that selfie will tell you a lot about your party guests. So I encourage that. Um, I encourage doing a raffle for qualifying parties only. So throughout the entire party, people get to earn tickets when the party qualifies because you got to work your parties to make them qualify. Um, when the party qualifies, you can draw a raffle winner. I tend to purchase um, raffle prizes with my Y cash and my half offs. And I'll get like the set of four pigments or the set of uh, three liners or lip glosses or whatever. And I always just kind of have a couple little things on hand. And then I can, you know, send that out and it's easy. Um, it doesn't cost me like hardly anything. I'm not a big fan of spending money to make money. I'm not. I don't. I don't like it. Um, so I just buy, you know, I buy my prizes and stuff with white cash and half offs. And then I always buy them in sets. Um, and then, you know, give stuff away. Okay. Be consistent. Be consistent. If you're not being salesy, you aren't bugging people. So you need to post four times a day in your parties. Four times. I, I aim for like 9.30 in the morning, like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, 6 o'clock, and then like 9.30 at night. All right. I try not to post before 9 a.m. and I try not to post after 10 p.m. because that's just sort of like 10 p.m. to 9 a.m. is just, that's like quiet time and nobody really wants to, like, leave me alone. Before 9 a.m., just don't talk to me. I don't want to talk to anybody. That's just me, though. I don't know. Um, okay, make sure that you're adding guests as friends. Make sure that you're talking to them and building your network by, um, you know, building a relationship with them. Because when you build a relationship with them, they will host parties for you, I promise. They might even reach out to you and say, I want to do a party, I want to do a party. Okay? The more fun your parties are, the more parties you're going to book off of them. And that's the whole idea. Okay, so um, I said that the description, I'm just trying to make sure I don't forget anything. Bear with me. Um, I said that the description should be welcoming. You should make sure that people know what they're there for. Okay. I do not post my link on every single post. I'll post it throughout the party a couple times. It's always in the description. And then, like I said, it's on my cover photos. But people still don't see it all the time. So just make sure that it's easily accessible. Um, okay. In your welcome post, make sure to um, ask open-ended questions, right? So questions that people can't just say yes or no to. Stuff that they, you know, what do you do for a living? Not do you work, all right? Do you work is a yes or no question. What do you do for a living is an open-ended question. So they have to respond with something. And then you can respond back, and then you, you're building that relationship, okay? You're building a rapport. So that's what you need to do. Um, I post three things in the party before people, before I even invite my hostess in. Um, I add my husband to my parties. When you create the group, you have to add somebody, so I add my husband. He's in, like, a lot of parties. Poor guy. Um, but I'm pretty sure that he leaves them once my hostess, once I invite my hostess in, he kind of checks out. He's like, all right, you're good. So I don't invite my hostess into the party until I have it set up and I'm ready for her friends because hostesses tend to get a little crazy. Okay, they go rogue sometimes. You got to like reel them back in. So they get a little bit crazy. So you just have to make sure. So what I do is I don't invite them into the party. They don't come into the group until I'm ready for them to invite friends. And then I'll invite my hostess in and then she can see I've already got a few posts generated. Okay, so these posts are like... They're kind of like the boring stuff. They're um, they're the order anytime, and your your order will be shipped right to you. Um, free shipping on orders over hundred dollars. A little bit about unique. So so I already have those posts in the party, so that when guests come into the party, they already have something to look at. Because if you invite them in and there's nothing in the group, they're probably not going to hang out. So I want them to see. Excuse me, I have an itch. Um, I want them to see some stuff already. And I want them to see the stuff that's that's important for them to know. Ah, sorry. My nose itch is really bad. Um, always post a welcome video after everybody comes into the party. So once everyone's been invited in, this is really annoying, I'm sorry. Um, once everyone's been invited into the party, then post a short, less than one minute, or right at one minute, 
um, introduction video, just letting them know who you are, what they can expect from you, and how you're super excited for the party, okay? I also recommend one video per day, at least one. You can do more than that, but I like one video a day. So the four posts per day that I make, okay, I make four posts a day in my parties, this is what I do. And these are in no particular order. You can post, you know, mix them up however you want, okay? So one makeup tip and or engaging post. So it can be, it doesn't necessarily have to be a makeup tip. It can be something like, we have a picture of like Kermit the Frog without, like with eyelids and, and it says how I feel without my 3D mascara. Um, so I post that. That one always gets a lot of attention. Um, it's always funny. Um, so something like that or a makeup tip, something that is funny and interactive without being, without even talking about a product, like really, without even really talking about anything. Um, so that's just something like in the morning, sometimes I'll put like, good morning, beautiful people, or let's get this party started, or, you know, what do you have going on today? Um, just really interactive, okay? And again, this is a just, you're building that re relationship with your guests, okay? So that's important. I do one game every single day, and again, this is why I do a raffle. I can play as many games in my parties as I want. People love games. They love them. Um, because when they win a game, they're winning raffle tickets. So I don't have to give a prize away per game. I can't afford that. I don't know about you, but I'm not doing that. So what I do is I'll do every single game winner gets two raffle tickets. Okay, and then I'm only giving away one prize per qualifying party. And I can do that. that that's a little bit easier on the checkbook. Okay, one selfie. Selfie. You. Pictures of you. Sorry, I don't mean to be a little, you know, just pictures of you. Don't post my picture in your parties. They don't know who I am. I mean, if you really want to, go ahead, but it should be pictures of you, okay? One video, okay? So, one selfie, talking about products. Make sure that your selfies say, like, what products you're using and so that, you know, they kind of have a clue with a little blurb about why you love the products, okay? Um why you love the product that you're talking about. Typically it should be mascara. Um, one game, one tip or interactive post, and then one video, okay? Short video, keep your videos less than five minutes, less than five. Three minutes is ideal, okay? Short videos. The word of the party game is the best party game in my opinion. It's also the most obnoxious if you're the presenter, but it boosts the Facebook algorithm for that party. And the more people are commenting, the more people are seeing the posts pop up in their newsfeed, and that is what you want. You want an interactive party, okay? No matter what, you want an interactive party. Always tag your hostess in her in your posts. Not in the text, but like go down and click, you know, who are you with, and tag your hostess in every single post. Again, this helps this helps make sure that it appears on her friends' news feeds. That's what you want. Chat with your hostess daily and always, always, always make sure that the party is about your hostess. Never make it about you. Never make it about sales. Always about your hostess. As soon as the party qualifies, be like, oh my gosh, you guys, we got, you know, Sandy to the first level of hostess rewards. Amazing. You guys are incredible. This boosts people up. They like it. All right. If you're $65, $70 away from hostess rewards, say it. Okay, guys, Sandy is so close. She's only two mascaras away from hitting her hostess rewards. Oh, my goodness, I'm so excited. Chances are people are going to buy, all right, because they want their friend to get her rewards. People help people, okay? All right, just a couple party do nots, and then I think that that's pretty much it. Interactive posts, guys, that's the key. Um, and being fun. Be nice in your parties. Don't be salesy. Do not, here we go, ready? Do not. No negativity, period, at all. If you have a guest who's being negative, send them a message and tell them that you appreciate their opinion, but it doesn't belong in the party. And then delete them. You control the party. You set the tone, okay? You set the tone and delete their nasty comments. Sometimes people are mean, so just off with their heads, okay? Not seriously. Think like, you know, queen of hearts. Off with their head. Anyway, okay, no blank posts. Don't post a picture and then don't say anything about it. No, 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 no. 
that's not nice. This happens. Don't do it. It's bad for your parties. Don't do it. So if you post a picture, explain what products the picture's talking about and explain why they're wonderful in one paragraph. Don't like, don't word vomit either. Okay. Don't put your link everywhere. Don't blow people up with your link. It's spammy. Don't be spammy. We are better than that. Don't do it. Okay. No begging for orders. Ladies, I see this all the time and it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. Do not give away the house. Don't do sales. Don't do deals. Don't. Don't. It's bad for you. People start to expect it. Think about Hobby Lobby, okay? And I'm just going to use Hobby Lobby as an example. If I go to Hobby Lobby and I see this lamp that I really like, okay, but it's not on sale. It's full price. But you know what? I'll just, you know what? I'll come back next week because I know that Hobby Lobby, that they always have sales. It's probably going to be on sale next week. So I'll just, I'll just wait for it to go on sale. Okay. That's what happens. People start to expect sales and deals, and then you are giving away your commissions and you're not making any money and you're not going anywhere with your business. Stop giving away the house. Don't do it not good for you. I, I'm okay with like doing a flash sale or something like that if you're about to hit a big promotion. And when I say big promotion, I'm talking like green and up, okay? Um, or if you're, you know, super, super, super close to hitting fast start and you just need like $200 in sales, sure, you know, whatever. If that's what you think that you need to do. But you don't need to do this every day. Don't give away the house. Sorry, I just, ugh, it kills me. I don't want to see people losing money. There's no reason for that. No reason. We get paid. We make good money on this, okay? Don't give it all away. Okay, so no begging. That kind of goes into the whole thing. Um, no, okay, ladies, get your orders in. Nothing makes me crazier than, hurry up, ladies, time to get, you better get those orders in. I just, oh, it's like nails on a chalkboard. Don't, just, just. Don't do that. Oh, do a countdown instead. Hey girls, two days left to order. Let me know if you have any questions. That sounds way different than hurry up ladies, better get those orders in. Party closes tonight. Really? I have to run and get my order in? I hate that. Oh my goodness, it makes me crazy. No begging, okay? No public parties. Doesn't matter if you're, I have something right here on my face. Um, doesn't matter if you are doing your party in a group or an event, it has to be closed or private. It cannot be public. Cannot. Trust me. Don't make it public. If you make it public, it's showing up in everybody's newsfeed and they are going to block you. Promise. Okay, last but not least, no typos. Please just go back over your text and make sure that you're not using like shorthand texting or anything like that. I mean, you need to look professional. You need to look like you know what you're talking about. So if you're, don't, don't replace the word you with the letter you, okay? So please just double check your wording. Make sure that everything is spelled out correctly and looks nice. And you know, this is just, it's just good business. You're a business person, okay? You are have a business and you need to represent that business in a positive way, all right? So always positive, no negativity. Spell check, make sure that your pictures look good. Uh, make sure that your videos are short, fun, and informative, all right? So be you, find out who you are, okay? Be yourself, loosen up a little bit. People like raw and real and fun, so that's what you gotta do. You don't always have to be like perky and peppy, but you know, just be who you are that people can connect with that. Okay. All right. Sorry, this video took so long, but there's, there's so much I can tell you about parties guys. So much. This isn't even all of it, but this is the basics. All right. This is the basics. This is what you need to know. Be fun. Have fun. Rock your parties. And, uh, yeah, party on. Bye guys.